What's going on guys? It's Icy Rhythms. Welcome back. And in this video, I want to once again talk to you guys about full native DualShock 4 support and today's game is Far Cry 5. So what do I mean when I say full native DualShock 4 support? Well, with some games, you have developers that don't really take the time to implement both PlayStation and Xbox button prompts. So they might support the DualShock 4 out of the box and you can play the game with the DualShock 4, but it's important to me for more developers to get on board with this because more options is a good thing. And some of you, unlike myself, I am familiar with both. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if, you know, PlayStation button prompts pop up or it's Xbox for me, whatever controller I'm using, I'm usually pretty good about, you know, pressing the right button at the right time. But for example, if you're getting Xbox button prompts, you know, B is B for them and it's circle for you. So when it, when B pops up and you've never used an Xbox controller, that's going to be confusing. So you have to appreciate, especially in the case of someone like Ubisoft with a lot of their more recent games anyway, that will take the time and that extra little bit of effort to put the PlayStation button prompts as well as supporting the controller and allowing you to play their games. So in the case of Far Cry 5, and definitely in my case because it has been purchased on Steam for me, it also opens up Uplay, right? When you deal with Ubisoft games, you get the several different layers of DRM at times. I understand that. I don't like it. It is a downside to PC gaming, in my opinion. I'm sure some of you would probably agree. Uh, but since I have the game on Steam, Uplay opens up anyway. If you've also purchased Far Cry 5, on Steam or plan to and you see this video, you know, six months, a year, two years, three years from now, you'll know what to do. Go into big picture mode on Steam and if you have any configurations or settings changed for the controller settings, I would suggest just putting those back to default and not having anything checked because like I said, in the case of Far Cry 5, you're getting that full native support right out of the box, so you don't really need Steam or big picture mode to do anything extra for you. And that's the first thing. And I think as far as I know, there's probably one other thing that we need to do. And this is a mistake that I made on my Witcher 3 video that I will not make in this video. You have to plug the controller in. This is something that you must do. So the, you know, cable, the wire that came with your PlayStation 4 for your controller for charging purposes, use that, plug it into a USB port on your PC, use that and you'll be good to go. In the, in the case of Far Cry 5, you will be good to go. You won't need to do anything else. It will recognize it immediately. You don't need to go into the Far Cry 5 settings and change anything. In this case, you will be good to go. I had a guy flip out on me on that video that was cursing at me and lost his mind. Like, how the f do you do it? You know, like, what the f are you doing? Like, I don't understand what to do. I think I later deleted that comment because I couldn't understand not, it wasn't so much that he didn't get what to do because I didn't say to plug in the controller, but it was just about why are you flipping out on me? Like it's, I, I just kind of, I kind of had it in my head that things like this were common sense that you couldn't, you can't really do this wirelessly to my knowledge. Maybe if you have the official PlayStation adapter from Sony, this may still be a thing on games that have full native support like a Far Cry 5. Maybe, I don't know, but in order to get the prompts in games that have full support, you're gonna need to plug the controller in with that cable. And if you no longer have that cable or you don't want the inconvenience of moving it around from room to room, I'm sure there are some on Amazon that will do just fine, that do the same thing and possibly are even of a higher quality. And that should be it, man. Like you should be able to play this game just fine. I'm not the greatest anymore when it comes to first person games on a controller, but that is it. If you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, it's not working for you. I will try to respond to the best of my ability, the best that I can. I can't make any promises. I may not be able to fix it for you, but if you do exactly 
as I said in this video, everything should be fine. If anyone has any questions, again, put them down in the comment section. If you would like me to do more videos like this, please give me a like, give a guy a subscribe. It helps out more than you know, and I will do more. I will do a lot more. If there are certain games that you would like to see, whether, you know, hey, does this game have full native support? Does this game just support the controller at all? I will put videos up explaining how to make that happen. And I will make that happen for you, hopefully, without downloading anything else, the, the use of any other software outside of what you already have with Steam and Uplay, so on and so forth. So thanks again. Thank you guys for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Take care. Peace.